Hi, this is Victoria with Fish to Food Aquaponics, and Dan has just installed a biofiltration swirl filter that he would like to show you. And this is it right here, this white barrel. Um, so, Dan, why don't you take it away? Well, first of all, I made this out of a 30 gallon HDPE um, um, barrel that you can get um, online. And um, of course, I have a, uh, a one inch um, bulkhead fitting at the bottom for the drain okay. um, with a valve. Um, okay. Then um, I have a two inch bulkhead fitting here, which this is the water coming from my fish tank in a two inch pipe. And it goes through here and it comes out and it creates a swirling action in the water. Okay, I yeah. see that. So those are all two inch pipes and L yeah. connectors? Yes. Okay. And then on top of that, I, I cut a piece of plexiglass with holes in it to fit in the can barrel. You, can you pull that out so we can see it a little better? Okay. okay what purpose does that serve? That's so I can um, set, that, set this up. So that sits directly on the, on the pipes. Pipe. And okay. then this is Metella. Oh, okay, what does this okay, do? First, let's do this. First, and then this is Metella, and um, this is extra fine Metella, and it sits on top under this and on top of this. And it helps. Um, That's the, your actual filter, yeah, it helps, right? Yeah, it helps slow down the water so it can get filtered. And now this is another two inch bulkhead fitting going through, it's up higher. And then this and, fit, and this one. And this, okay, so, and why is it up higher? Um, just so that it, it goes into my, it, it's a drain pipe that goes into the sump tank from this um, swirl filter. And depending on your system, you, you have to decide what height these are. Okay. And um, I'm going to go ahead for you and put this in because it's a little tricky. And um, let's see, I'm going to slide it under here. Okay, so it's a snug fit. Yeah, that's how that goes in. And then I put this on here. What is that? Just to hold it down. Okay, so that's the only purpose of that piece. Yeah. And what are the two holes for? Just to let water in to drain out. So that's just a piece of two-inch PVC pipe with, a cap with holes and a cap. And don't don't glue this because you're going to need to take it out to clean this. Okay, so you just stick it in there. Yeah, and then, and then that holds that in place yeah, while it's swirling? Yep, yeah, that's just the lid for the thing. That's the top of the barrel. Okay, so can we actually see? Does it just rest on there? Yep, that's, that's, yep, that's it. It just Isn't rests. It this way? No, uh, the other way. Okay. All right, so um, does it swirl? It's swirling in there. It is? Yep. Okay, let's see. You can't see the swirling because this is in Oh, okay. All right. So, and where does the sediment come out? Down here. So when you want to clean it, you just, um, you just turn, the turn this, yeah. and you could put a bucket there, and the, the sediment will come out yeah. <coughs> because it'll all be at the bottom. Yeah, some of it's already coming out. It's already a little bit dirty. From yeah, okay. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dan. Again, this is Fish to Food Aquaponics. Thank you for joining us.